All right, so this review is on my new Imperial, yes, I said Imperial, seven foot pool table. Um, I know a lot of people are wondering, what did I do? Why did I go from my Gandhi Big G nine foot table to a seven foot table? And I'll be honest with you, the more, I've been, uh, more I play outside in leagues and so forth in tournaments locally, Everybody's using seven foot tables. I mean, the APA plays on seven foot and they're probably the largest organization of league play out there. And my students that come, when they come into my studio and they see a nine foot table, uh, a, lot of, a lot of them comment that they're totally overwhelmed at the size of the table. So I spent about a year deciding, going back and forth. And yes, uh, I sold my other table and I just got this table. So. I have to say, I mean, I shopped around and shopped around. I almost went with a diamond table. But for me personally, yes, they're excellent, excellent top of the line table. But I couldn't justify that price point. So again, you know, this is an in-studio table. I use it for my videos and um, also for my students. So this is, uh, I have to say, uh, so far I've been very impressed. So anybody looking at an imperial table for the price point they're at, I would say they're the best table out there. Again, you know, we're looking at price point here. And obviously playability. What's the point of spending a couple thousand dollars on something that you're not gonna be happy playing on? This plays, honestly, just as good if not better than my Gandhi Big G. Yes, my table was, uh, you know, 27 years old. This one's brand new, it's only a week old. But I have one inch slate on here using championship tournament, um, cloth on here. So it's a big difference in the speed. You know, then there's no nap on here. It's a worsted cloth. Um, this didn't come standard. I upgraded to it. So again, it's personal preference. I looked into Simonis, the 860. Again, nothing wrong with Simonis. Excellent, excellent cloth. But I have students come here and personally, and from the research that I did, the championship cloth this specific one, the, the touring, the tour cloth, is much more durable. Again, you know, if you go to the, the manufacturer's website, they state that um, it's up to, I believe, or, or it is 30% more durable than their competitor. So again, I played on Simonis, I love it my entire life, nothing wrong with it, but I needed something for the durability. So. I took the advice of uh, my local supplier and went with this cloth. So enough explaining about that. They are uh, pro size pockets. So if you were to take two walls and try to squeeze them in side by side, you'll see they won't go. So again, most bars are gonna have, you know, quarter of an inch larger pockets. Um, you can, whoever puts the table together, have them adjust the pockets to make them even tighter. So I have K66 rails on here, and the table's just solid. It's a three-piece, one-inch thick slate. I absolutely love it. I mean, the balls just roll incredible on this table. The bounce off the rails. I mean, you have to have a really soft touch when you're playing on here. And obviously, you have to be accurate because of the size of the pockets. Uh, this is a black finish with chrome accents on the corners and at the side pockets. And yes, that's real chrome, it's not plastic. Um, do some research, you know, the apron's solid, the pockets are solid. So this table's drop pockets. They have various models that you could get. Um, some have a storage compartment at one end for you, you could, you know, put the, balls in there. So let me hit a few balls. You see the reaction. I'm gonna move this rack out of the way. I'm just gonna try a bank shot. I mean the way that the balls this one I'm gonna go off the rail or well, cue ball off the rail you just see you see the speed of the cloth, you know, the playability. 
I mean, it's just, for me, I've been extremely, extremely impressed with this table. I absolutely love it. Again, I'm so glad I took the advice of my local supplier, Eastern Billiard Supply. That's who I purchased the table from. They're here in Orlando, Florida. So if anybody's local and is looking for this table, please give them a call. Just the playability of the table. I mean, you know, they do an awesome job installing it. So again, you know, you're gonna have a table installed. You could have the greatest table, but if the installer don't do the job right, the table's gonna play terribly. And I mean terribly. So again, do the research. Imperial's been around since 1955 and they do make higher end tables. Again, you know, looking at your price point, that's totally a personal preference. So I always love the drop pockets. I don't like ball returns, you know, uh, tables in a home, only for the fact of the constant noise. You know, you're running a table. Um, when you're out in a bar, it sounds great, but in a home, things tend to echo a little bit more, you know. Um, you know your wife or your husband might be inside watching TV in the next room, constantly hearing the ball return. So again, you know, I mean, you get a little bit of noise when, as you can hear it, you know, just drops in. Yes, they are plastic pockets, they're not leather, but they're extremely durable. And the finish on it, I really like. I mean, it's black, it has the chrome accents on it, and playability is just incredible. And you can see the action I get from the cue ball on this cloth. So that has a lot to do with it. People you know, don't realize the type of cloth you're playing on could totally change your game. It's just totally drastic. So, you know, there's different friction between the balls and the cloth, again, depending on the cloth that you're playing on. So, like I said, you know, these are all, um, you know, this is my personal opinion. I'm not um, being paid in any way to endorse this table or to promote it. I just wanted people to know because when I was looking to purchase an Imperial table, you know, specifically this one, I went online and I could not find, you know, um, many videos at all. I just explained in the table. I saw a couple of videos by either a distributor or the manufacturer that just basically showed, you know, 360 view of the table, but that's it. You know, I wanted to know my personal opinion. Yes, upgrade the cloth, get championship uh, tour edition, or if you prefer, get Simonis 860. You won't be disappointed. Um, you know, ask your local um, distributor or, or game room supplier, what the price difference is. So you can get this table for probably about $2,000 delivered and set up. So for that price point, I mean, to have a brand new table that plays as well as this table does, um, I, like I said, I was very, very skeptical and I purchased this table like you said, from my local supplier that I've been dealing with, I totally trust them, you know, 110%. And their advice was to go with this particular setup for my needs. And I've just been 100% thrilled. So again, check it out. You won't be disappointed. Like I said, they do have different styles and models. I can't say anything about the other ones. This is the only one that I saw in person. This is the only one that I've played on. And so for the price point, it's my personal opinion that this is probably one of the best, if not the best tables out there, like I said, for the price point. You know, I've seen a lot of tables that use um, particle board or they try to get away with a thinner slate, three quarter inch slate. Um, I, and Imperial, I believe at one time years ago, did make some of these with a three-quarter inch slate. But far as I know, they're all one inch slate now. 
I double check that with your distributor. Um, if not, they can get you one inch slate. I mean, I, my distributor only gets these tables in one inch slate. So that's what I'm basing this information off of. So again, you have any questions or concerns, um, please feel free to contact me. I think you would truly, truly love this table. You know, if you're playing on a seven foot table, this is an excellent table. And I know they make this model in an eight foot table as well. So seven or eight, you know, I think it's probably about two to $300 more. Don't quote me on that to um, go to the eight foot, but there was no sense in me going to an eight foot table. I just don't play on them. Um, even though they're very popular in people's homes. So again, um, any questions or comments, please feel free to get a hold of me. And if you're looking for a pool table, again, I know I keep saying it, but I, I just totally in love with this table. So it, it plays like, you know, those five and six and $7,000 tables 